Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. I am the Max of You Trades. In the last part, we conquered the ghost ship, discovered that Shauna is a long-lost princess. We'll never talk about that fact ever again. And, uh, we reunited... Oh wait, then Dart and Rose fell off the boat. They, uh, had some backstory stuff going on. It was crazy, it was awesome, but anyway, we all reunited, and now we're gonna go off and try and find Lennis. Smack her around for a little while until she gives us the moon dagger and everything will be peachy keen, hunky dory, and all that good stuff. However, hang on. Oh, I, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't care about anything you have to say, random person. I'm looking for a specific. Hang on. Up, 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 up. There's the stardust. Okay, there are two pieces of stardust in this town I have discovered, and we're gonna go ahead and grab those before we really make any true progress. However. Also, something that I need to show off right now, just to be on the safe side that I do, is the fact that I have uh, trained up quite a few of the characters a little bit. I got to say, whoop, I've never heard of the painter of this painting, but I have seen this somewhere. Stardust! Whoop whoop! Uh, characters have leveled up quite a bit in the terms of their additions. Check this noise out. First and foremost, Madness Hero, completely and totally complete. And look at that, that's actually his weakest attack out of everything. Double Slash does considerable more damage than that. No thank you. Let's go back to Crush Dance so we can actually get some damage up in here. I like Madness Hero, it's a crazy awesome attack, but that damage, no thank you. Then we've got Rose, who's mastered Hardblade and is now working on her ultimate Master's Edition, Demon's Dance. Which, let me tell you, was really, really, really fun to learn how the proper timing of the attack works. I was, I was probably try I was like training the to get the timing down before recording for like three hours and I only got it right 17 times and uh, Hachelle has learned five ring shattering which we will we'll just we'll jump right on using that and not too long next time we use him then Albert finally mastered gust of wind dance and is working on flower storm or as he calls it blossom storm because I guess there was a miscommunication between the voice actor and the script writers who knows either way I've got a better handle on that one and it deals so much damage and gives you so much SP that it's absolutely insane Rue's got hammer spin going on that's pretty great and Congo learned inferno which is really good it doesn't give you like any SP whatsoever but damage and that's basically what you want from Congo anyway also of note, Albert and Rose are now level 5 Dragoons. So, before we continue the story, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna find some enemies to fight, and I'm gonna show off Albert and Rose's Master Editions and their new, you know, dragon summoning abilities that they've acquired over the battles. Shouldn't take too long, depends entirely on how badly I theoretically mess up the editions. Either way, let's give it a try! Run around the Ilse Bay! And then the monsters come out to play, and they will regret their decision. Oh, but let me tell you, they will not be happy about the things that are about to go down here. Ah, it be a lone little screw crab thingy-mabobber. Very well. I see you've decided to use yourself as a makeshift drill. That was a very stupid idea. All right, wish me luck, everybody, as I try to show off for once. Go, go, go! Pulled it off! Fantastic! Go, Albert! <laughs> Alright. And I think that was actually the 40th time he did that, so it actually leveled up and is now stronger and gives you even more SP. So that's pretty great. As I've said, I'm pretty sure multiple times now, the Master Edition is only acquired when you've, you know, completely maxed out the levels of all other previous editions. And it's really worth it because it does a ton of damage and gives you a ton of SP. All the things you want in an attack works out very well for all of us. Anyway, Albert, you already had your time to shine. Cool your jets, bro. Ah, no! Get them tentacles out of here. Ain't got time for none of that. All right, Rose. Whew, okay, I, I have considerably less luck when it comes to using this attack, but here goes everything! Yakasha pulled it off! Fantastic! Whew, on the first try, too. Not bad at all. Alright, oh, now the evil octopus thing is apparently using some kind of magic. Alright, it appears the octopus attempted to bewitch Dart, but uh, that ultimately proved to not be the smartest of ideas, because he was the only member of our group who was guarding. So that's pretty funny. Alright, Albert, now it's time to summon the Jade Dragon. And it is a mighty cool dragon, let me tells you. 
Alright. Albert has reached his full potential. Well, no one's reached their full potential. I mean, we still have so much more, like, actual leveling up to do, but... As far as being a Dragoon, about as strong as you're gonna get. Well, actually, no, that's not true either, because when we level up, these get stronger too, so... Yeah, everything works out. We still have plenty of the growth. Either way, Giant Dragon! The dragons in this game look really weird, but at the same time, I like that. They're really non-traditional in that aspect. Anyway, Fushango! Who knew wind could be so freakishly deadly? Didn't do much damage, but some leveling up will inevitably make that better. Either way, Albert is awesome. This is non-negotiable. Now all we gotta do is show off Rose's dragon, and we are, like, all squared away. We can go straight back to the plot, find Lannis. I mean, we gotta find some leads first, but luckily I know exactly where we need to go in order to acquire said leads, so that's not something we need to worry about. Alright. Just have to use the Rose's mighty dragon, which... She has, like, one of the coolest dragons, as you would probably assume. I mean, when you get right down to it... Oh, no, not this jerk. Come on, don't waste our time with this nonsense. Ah! <sighs> okay, so... Yeah, magical attack barrier. Okay, fine, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually bothered to let you guys know about the jars and the birds. See, every so often in different parts of the world, you'll sometimes find, uh, specific monsters. Um... And these monsters have incredibly high defense and evasion. If you're lucky, you'll deal one point of damage, but that's okay, because they usually only have somewhere between 3 to 7 HP. But, if you manage to defeat either one of these colorful birds or weird hopping jar things, you are given extraordinarily amazing uh, benefits and bonuses. For example, uh, around... Uh, yeah, I did a lot of training doing this. Basically, I was running around the area outside of the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, and every now and again you'll find a blue bird. The blue bird is likely to run away, you're likely to almost never hit it, and it has impossibly high defense, but if you manage to kill it, you get 1,000 EXP, which is far more than any other, you know, infinitely more than any other enemy in the game will ever give you, aside from the boss fights. So, it's fantastic for training purposes, but it can prove very difficult. It's like, if you ever played Dragon's Quest, remember, if you, you know about metal slimes, how they're almost impossible to kill and very likely will just run away instantly? That's basically these jerks. Anyway, it might not die from this, making it seem rather unimpressive, but it'll still look really freakishly cool. This treasure jar here is in fact specifically weak against magic attacks, but he raised a magical barrier, which means we're gonna do no damage, and he's eventually just gonna run away. But, uh, whatever. I'm not, he I'm not here to get super crazy bonuses. I'm here to look at cool dragons. You know, the, uh, the Dragon of Darkness kind of had a lot to live up to, all things considered. And personally, I think it managed to pull it off pretty well. Anyway, is it possible for me to just sort of... Yes, I can do a little more training in. I like that idea. Huh, and, uh, yep. and one more for Jenny and the Whip. Fantastic. 120 SP per strike. That is just absolutely splendid. Alright, and now it runs away. Yes, okay. Doesn't matter, was not intentionally trying to fight you anyway, you stupid sentient jar. Ugh, being a treasure jar, if you successfully defeat it, I don't know how much money you get, but you get a lot of it. Just just trust me on that. I, 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 it's a good idea for me to have told you guys about these monsters, but I am in no way going to try and make you, like, suffer me attempting to actually kill some of them. It is a long and tedious process. And completely open to debate whether or not it's actually worth the time or effort. But, uh, there you go, I suppose. And with that, Albert and Rose have gotten a fair bit of screen time. And, because knowing things that I know, I would like to bring in Maru and Kongol. These are the people I would like to have in the team for what's, uh, gonna be coming up ahead of, for, our, for ourselves. It's going to be quite the... It's, uh, well, Kongle doesn't really need to be in the group right now, but I want him to be, because I still don't feel like he's done enough. 
I just, I like Congo, and I want that, I want everyone to truly understand just how friggin' awesome the dude really is. Let's see. For some reason, you go through here, and that leads to the dock, and that always confused me, because it looks like you're going in through a friggin' building, but you're not. Either way, hello, Mr. Captain Man. How be the biz? That Rose! I was sure that you were alive. I can't die that easily. At least not until we get Lennis. Lennis! What's wrong? So all of the sudden... <laughs> run on sentence. Bad at it. I got information about her. Say what? It seems that monster we've never seen before started to infest the area half a year ago. Moreover, those monsters are spreading out. The place is called the Prison Island. It's a small island surrounded by rocks instead in the, uh, located in the center of the San Christ Islands. I heard you can go through, go through an undersea cavern. Yes, we've been through there. A half year ago, the same time, Lennis was being all awful and switching with the princess, isn't it? Very insightful. Good job remembering that. We're gonna go check out the Prison Island. I mean, we can't because, you know, the water hasn't ebbed, which means there's no paths for us to take. Luckily, there is a very easy way around that, actually, that apparently nobody else has ever dared to attempt. Luckily, we're crazy, foolhardy JRPG heroes, so we're willing to do anything if it ultimately leads us to, you know, the, the more crazy combat and story progression that we crave oh so very much. Alright, onwards! Towards adventure! Huh, alright. Oh, and in case you're... In case you're curious, I mean, I, I mean, I feel like, yeah, Ro, Ro, yeah, I used Rose and Albert a lot just now. Yeah, I was using them through the entirety of that ship. Right, yeah. I switched Kong with Ro Yeah, okay, so they did get screened up. It's been a little while since I've recorded, okay? And I am confused as to how often I've used each character. Point is, it's getting difficult for me to be able to re realize just how much screen time every character has had. Regardless, hammer spin time! Adorable! <laughs> she falls over. Oh, Maru. You cutie patoot. Anyway, if you, you might not remember this because we haven't used Maru since I gave it to her, but she's holding the Phantom Shield, which is an implausibly expensive item acquired in Lolan that, that uh, reduces damage from all conceivable attacks by 50%, making Maru ba basically taking the one thing that was really bad about her, her, her incredibly low HP stat, and bad physical defense, and rendering them null and void. Kongle, do the thing! There we go, that's substantially more impressive than Pursuit Kongle. You're learning, my friend! And the good thing is, once we master uh, Inferno, we get Kongle's Master Edition, which does all the damage, which I am more than happy about. Whew, all right, so that should be... I think you guys should be all you know, on base here, be fully aware of everything that's gone on in between recording sessions. It's hard to remember every conceivable thing that I'm trying to tell you guys. It's been a rough day for all of us. Uh, anyway, here we go. I guess I think we look over here. Yep. And rumbling in the controller. Just gotta wait for the lo There we go. What is that noise? It's from over there. Whoa, you okay, Maru? There must be something over there. Well, evidently, it's not just something. It seems that the rumor about the sea dragon is true. And Lennis has complete and total control over it. That is the dragon's cry. I can't blame you for feeling scared. <laughs> but I'm not scared. A dragon or two is nothing. Oh, right, you weren't with us for the first time we killed a dragon. Yeah, they're pretty intimidating. We have to look for a way to go to the prison island. Yoo-hoo! That is one angry sea dragon. And let me tell you a little something or another. I am not entirely looking forward to the boss fight that leads up to this. Ugh, because, uh, spoiler alert, we fight Lennis a second time, and she's got the sea dragon with her, and, uh, thought she was annoying the first time. Ugh. <sighs> Try having a dragon at her beck and call. It doesn't make things any easier. Ugh, <laughs> but we shall find a way through it. Anyway, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Just have to remember. I'm 972 million percent positive. Okay, well, not of this. I'm pretty sure you can't really do anything about this. Uh, the game in the barrels, blah, 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 blah. I don't have friends. Nobody cares about you. Random NPC. Maybe you should get yourself an actual name and then people will remember who you are instead of just guy who got sh 
I guess, ignored for a card game. Anyway, on to the boat thingy. I would like to go to Pete's house, because I think... And, yeah, see, look, some stepping stones. There's a, there's a secret little cavern back there that we are going to make use of. Yep, 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 there we go. I knew it was somewhere around here. Let's see, how do we open this? Oh, right, I forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Hang on a second. We actually have to go talk to the mayor, which uh, I honestly did not know he was the mayor, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, not the Ocean Terrence, or is, no, uh, Ocean Terrence, Pier, I get the two confused, so many nautical words, who am I, Spongebob, no sir, I am not, alright, Mayor, I need assistance and stuff, yo, sorry, I'm in the middle of something, here we go, how's this, darn, not again, well, I got a good win, let's take a break, and what do you want, I want to get into the thing, we want to go to the prison island, but we can't go because of the flood tide. We're wondering if there's any other way to go. Le Zumagawal? You said the prison island? Are you serious? Do you want to commit suicide or something? Nope. Kind of the opposite. We're serious, but we don't want to commit suicide. We want to kill stuff. You know it's dangerous to go there, young man, but why? Why would you want to throw yourself into danger? Danger attracts me. Danger is my middle name. We need to see the monster. I need to see the monster. You need to see the monster. You look serious. The appearance. You are warriors, aren't you? I got it, I'll tell you. But it's up to you whether you can survive there or not. It Basically, the point I'm trying to make is here, if you all die, I am completely unaccountable for what happens. I closed the route to the prison island after the monster problem arose. Why didn't you close the whole cave? It's really dangerous. Then we wouldn't be able to go to Fueno? That's why I closed only the paths of the prison island. Oh, hey -o, Albert. I have a question. How do you control the tide? It's puzzling me! Ah, oh, don't be so puzzled. I just closed the gate to the sea when the tide was full. Then, even after the tide is ebbed, the water level won't go down inside. Oh, my, what a simple trick. It's almost like I'm a doofus. Dang it, Albert. This is why you're supposed to stay enveloped inside my body. You imagined I could think of something complicated? No, 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 no. Hey, open the gimmick gate for him! Okay. Hey, so Villager did have a point. Good for him. Oh, it's a wait and pulley system. Interesting. Go into the cave from the right side of Pete's house. Turn the valve and you can open the gate. Then you can go to the prison island. Now leave us alone, we're trying to play cards. Those nefarious ne'er-do-wells! How dare you be playing cards at a time like this? The very least you could do is ride motorcycles while playing your card game. Yeesh. I mean, seriously, that's like the only... That's the only respectable thing they could do. But nope, they just gotta be huge butts. Okay. Now we can go inside the thing, lower the tide, and go inside the horrifying cave full of monsters that are going to try and murder us. And very well might possibly succeed. We shall see. Let's see. Healing rain! Oh, I love the healing rain! Uh, okay, so basically, there are four major HP healing items in the game. There's Healing Potion, which, re which restores one half of whatever character uses it. Then you have the Healing Breeze, which heals, you know, 50% of every character's health. Then you have the Healing Fog, which heals one character completely and fully. And you have the Healing Rain, which restores all HP to the entire team, which is freaking useful. But, uh... Don't think that... Yeah, see, there's the healing fog. See, that's the thing. You don't want to think that, uh, oh, well, because we can just get items that fully restore our HP, we don't really have a problem. The enemies we eventually end up fighting can use attacks that attack every single member of the team all at once and can do it multiple times before you even get a chance to attack. So trust me, no, the game is not broken by the items. They're, in fact, quite necessary. Turning this valve should open the gate. Or at the very least, give us some sweet deals on indie games. There we go. Fantastic. Wow, we can go to the prison island. I mean, now we can go to prison island. Whatever. Dart's easily impressed by valves. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Okay. Now we can go to the island and get into all sorts of chaos and mischief. It'll be a grand time for everyone. Yeah, okay, you can close the thingamaroo now. Yay! I get to go back to my perch. Oh, that dude's fast on his feet. My goodness, golly gorsh. Let's see. Okay, get on to the boat. 
I don't even know why we have to get onto a boat. Can none of the people in our team friggin' swim? I mean, I could see maybe Kongle not being able to swim. He's a big guy. He's probably obscenely heavy. So, it would make sense if he doesn't know how to swim. He also lives in, like, a desert, so... That's a twofold reason, but everyone else? No excuses. Especially Rose. She's 11,000 years old, and if she hadn't learned to swim in that time, well, that's just kind of weird. Like, what did she do all of that time, if, if not learning to do stuff? That's why I was so confused that she only has four additions. Woman has 11,000 years to get better with a sword, and she apparently does nothing with it. Very un- very unfortunate. Hey, a box. I can't carry any more items! Oh, right, that's- I forgot. While I was training, I picked up a bunch of superfluous nonsense that I don't need. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, let's see. I think we can just go to the list and pick stuff? No, we can't. Of course not. That would be too easy. All right, fine. I got all these friggin' spear frosts. I don't want none of these. Okay, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Am I getting rid of it? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, don't need the pellet. Let's get rid of the spear frost. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, so here's actually a couple of things that's interesting about these two items here. Um, <clears throat> turns out the magic six stone's incredibly useful. Remember those uh, colorful birds and jars I told you about? If you throw this at them, they can't move for three turns, which doesn't guarantee that you'll be able to destroy them in time, but it at the very least helps. Also, the speed up, it doubles the agility of any character. Here's the thing, if you give either Maru or Hachelle the best possible speed increasing items in the game and use the speed up, their, their speed stat will literally reach 200 points. For reference, Dart, without any enhancing items whatsoever, has a speed of 50. And Maru can go up to 200, which means she can attack four times for every one time that Dart attacks. And uh, so these things are very valuable. Don't throw them away and don't sell them or you're a big old stinky stupid face. Of course, I did not mean that. You are free to do whatever you choose. Anyway, I did all that for an attack ball. The horror of it all. Ugh, fine. Oh, yep, okay, now we just got to explore the undersea cavern. A jeweled crown. Hang on a second. Somebody can probably wear that. Uh, it's either gonna, it's probably either gonna go to a female character or a shell. Let's see. Jeweled crown. When magically attacked, SP is accumulated. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, Maru. Well, then again, Maru doesn't really need a boost exactly in her defense. So, you know what? How about we give it to Rose? She's... Oh, wait, no. Rose can't wear it. She can't wear the jeweled crown. Well, how about that? All right, fine. Then Shauna gets it, I guess. <laughs> Congratulations, Shauna. You were my third choice. Uh, all right. That takes care of that. All right. Now, which way do we go? I don't even know. We'll just have to keep exploralizing all over the place, and eventually we'll figure out... <laughs> the specific way we have to go. Uh, all right. Okay, uh, sorry about that. I had to check to see if I accidentally unplugged my microphone, which, my goodness gracious, that would be the worst. Yes, okay, whoop, and bumped into it, fantastic. Did that unhook it? No, it did not. All right, that was entirely unnecessary. Probably could have cut that out, but you know what, I didn't. I didn't because I'm giving you guys the whole story and nothing but the truth. And it's time. There we go. Spin that hammer, Maru. Do what is in your blood. And what is in your blood is the ability to dance like nobody's business. Alright, come on. So many little spindly octopus little dudes. Why do they gotta be so spindly and slappy? I don't care for it! And uh, the thing about the thing is, uh, with a fully leveled Madness Hero Edition on Dart, he gains 204 SP for every single attack which is incredibly unnecessary. Phenomenally useful for leveling Dart up to a level 5 Dragoon, of course, but other than that, it is not worth it, I'd say. I mean, unless you just really love turning into a Dragoon, and that's it. Like, you have no intention of doing anything else in combat but be a Dragoon all of the time, then I guess it's an okay strategy, but otherwise, no. Okay, and I'd like, just for the records to show, that attack would have done 80 damage on Maru had she not had the shield on. Assuming she does have the shield on, I'm pretty sure she still does. I'll have to check. Anyway, Congo! Now go spin that axe! Boom! Shaka! Laka! Boom! There we go. And it's not dead! Oh my god. 
Conagall smacked him around like like a like a fool who gets smacked around a lot and he still didn't fall over. That's just downright terrifying is what that is. Alright, well, regardless, the problem has been solved. Okay. Let's see here. Du -du 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 -du. Is it really well and truly so possible that Maru is just that freakishly frail? Because seriously, I remember... I rem mm, I'm not sure. Hang on a second. Just... Oh, and take a moment. Yeah, she has the phantom shield on. All right. Then yes, it would have done 80 points of damage. So all in all, good idea to give it to her. Oh boy. Anyway, what's inside this box? It is gushing magma. Why, that's incredibly pointless. But it's something that exists. So I have it now. Yay. Uh, it's just a powerful fire attack. Nothing worth getting all busied about. Also, this is definitely the way you need to go. Which leaves the very interesting question of what on earth is over in this direction. Which was the way I thought we had to go. You'd think the way that's more further out of the way would be the way you have to go, but apparently not. Sigh and whatnot. And more friggin' octopus guys! So many octopi! Why so many octopi? I don't care for it one bit. Alright, Kongle. Slice up that no good squiddy guy. Make some cala calamari and whatnot. Alright, it's all too clear to me that these additions really need to get leveled up a bit. Yeah, seriously? Kongle, you should definitely, of all of the people on my team, you are the one who should be one-shotting things. If Rose and Albert were still here, then that would probably be what's going on, but... I'm giving you guys screen time because I like you guys. That's just how it works. Regardless. Does not matter. A little, a little exercise and a little additional training and all that good stuff and whatnot, and we'll be good. Alright, so yeah, that uh, Phantom Shield really is extraordinarily good because Dart took 54 points of damage when the squid hit him when Maru only took 40. It's just, she has so little HP that uh, losing 40 is still losing a lot of health, so there's that. Anyway, death to the squid monsters. There we go, nice little victory pose for all of the fans at home. Very interesting, it's like, I have to wonder why, like, in, like, in-game universe. You think they're aware of the fact that they strike the exact same pose every single time they finish a fight? Because that seems to be like a that's, a... that's a trend in RPGs in general, like in the classic Final Fantasy games where they all just start dancing. I mean, that's just... that's adorable. Okay. Let's see. Alright, so now I'm just completely and totally flabbergasted on what the correct direction to go is. Wait, what the... a recovery ball? Okay. Wait, that's it? Oh, okay. Wait, no. Really? That's the only reason to come up here? Well, that was a waste of time! Well, I never! Thanks a lot, game. You wasted the good folks' time. By giving me a friggin' recovery ball. Who cares about recovery balls? I need consistency when it comes to my health regeneration. And freaking drill crabs! Friggin' drill crabs! Ugh, get out of here with this nonsense. D -d -d always with the flippity, flippity flips! Always smacking people around with those little tentacle things. There's only one good cephalopod, and that's Octodad. Any other one is just something that should not exist, and I do not appreciate it one bit, good sir. Yeah, okay. The hammer has been spun. All is right with the world. Now, Congo with the skinching. The skinching. I meant the to, to seal the deal, to kill the monster. There we go. Wait, seriously, these things are far from the most intimidating of creatures we have run into. But, considering how much stronger we've gotten since the beginning of the game... Like, it basically, what I'm seeing from this is that basically, a single... If one of these little glare octopus dudes made it into Helena Prison, he could single-handedly take care of everything that's inside there. And, uh, that is kind of hilarious to think about, honestly. Like, seriously. I mean... Damage scaling, leveling up, and all that stuff. It's weird in RPGs. That's just... That's basically the long and short of what I'm trying to say here. I mean, it makes sense. The monsters can't continuously be easy to kill. Otherwise, it's not really much of a fun game. Because you're just blowing through things and you don't even have to care. So, obviously, the monsters have to keep getting stronger. But they certainly... They might get stronger, but they certainly don't get any more physically imposing. In fact, in some cases, they end up just kind of... Like, progressively getting more small and... On menacing, I guess. But, uh, I suppose that's just the way RPGs work. Can't complain, really. Alright, so that was a waste of time. Unfortunate. Uh, huh. 
Sure wish I didn't decide to come this way then. Alright, well, ain't got much of a choice. And let's hopefully just get out of this place before I'm forced into yet another one. Okay. Okay. It's, I was obviously going to get into another fight before it let me all the way back to where I was and where I need to be, but I was hoping I could at least advance one screen. I advanced two screens! That's a personal record! My goodness gracious. Alright, so... Let's explore this general area, I guess. After fighting more monsters, of course. Always gotta fight more monsters. <laughs> 